Thanks for joining us today, everyone. It's Andrew from IDB with the best weeks for Notification Center, starting off with access within apps. So kind of the idea here is you're in an app, maybe a game or something, and you kind of keep triggering Notification Center or Control Center for that matter. Both of them are you know, enabled from just swiping up from either the bottom or the tops of the screen. So say you're you know, spending hours near side of Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch, perfect, and then you try to scroll and oh shoot, you accidentally swiped up Notification Center and sometimes games don't do well when they get interrupted, sometimes they have to reload or something. It's just not convenient. Well, you don't really have an option unless you install Access Within Apps. Inside of settings, you have two options, one for Control Center and the other for Notification Center. So you can disable one or the other in a variety of apps. All the apps are broken down in here between the system default applications and the user installed applications. So for example, you may want to disable just any games that you have. So Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch or Archer PI or whatever it is you have on your phone that you're maybe swiping around and you don't want to accidentally invoke either of those two apps. Available for free, if it's something you do often, you should definitely check it out inside of Cydia. Next up is Widgetification X, and this version is for iOS 10. There is a bevy of different options here, we're just going to run through a few, uh, but basically just kind of skinning or customizing uh, some of the your notifications or your notification center. So both of those inside of here, you have different options for making certain parts transparent, making them flat and kind of squaring out those corners, filling in the background so they're not as opaque. Just a bunch of different options here that you can toggle on and off for one or both. Super easy to do. My biggest downside is each time you make those changes, it does require a respring. So you go in there, you you toggle some things on and off, and then you kind of have to respring just to see how it looks and keep trying again until you find the look that exactly what you're looking for. On top here, you have that flat look, both for the widgets as well as notification. You have all these other ones for hiding certain icons and bars and making things transparent. Then you have these sets of toggles, one again for widgets and one for notifications. You can turn one or multiple on and it gives you a little key down below each one. So it's turning on certain ones, like all four would make things transparent, uh, similar for notifications. So you can do one, multiple, and just gives you that key to let you know uh, what combination will do which effect. So make the changes you'd like, hit respring. Once it comes back, you can check out your notification center and see how it looks. A lot of other kind of system changes, they work everywhere else, but they don't really fix the notification center. So if you want a more modern look or want to customize that, definitely check out Witchification X. Now we have No Dots 10, and it literally does what it sounds like. It gets rid of dots inside of iOS and not just the pagination ones, it'll also be things like that beta icon or the new app icon. You can see here I no longer have dots along my home screens, uh, they're no longer in control center, there's no little pagination dots there. Same thing for our notification center, which is really what this video is about, uh, even inside of folders. So if you have multiple pages inside of folders, they will be gone there as well. So really just anywhere you see those pagination dots will be gone, or the uh, test play beta icons, they're little orange ones, or when you have a new app or app update, a little bit little blue one, those you can also hide. Instead of settings, it's literally just each of those things is its own toggle. So you can turn off just the page nation ones and keep the beta and the update ones, or just get rid of all of them and absolutely have no dots. So if you're looking to clean things up a little bit and don't want a full tweak to do it, definitely check this one out, especially if you don't like page nation dots. Now we have Display Weather 10, another really simple one. It literally just does, again, what that title says, and displays the weather in two locations. One on your lock screen, uh, so it just shows up on your lock screen in the top left-hand corner, or what we're talking about, Notification Center. So you'll see just to the left of that name, we now have that weather plastered in that top left-hand corner. No need to actually use the weather widget and take up space when you already have that space there that is just empty. So might as well fill that in with the weather and remove that widget and have one less thing to deal with. Some people hate the bounce and notifications, other, other people love it. So that's what Bounce NC10 does. It makes the bounce more prominent. That's right, so when you swipe down from Notification Center, you'll get a really good bounce off of there. Uh, it looks really nice and you do like that bounce, but alternatively, there's also a little bonus feature that will actually make it a lot faster. So you got this big bounce effect when it is enabled, but if we hop into settings um, uh, below the enable slider, you also have one for this bonus feature, which is makes it a lot faster. So if you're kind of annoyed, like you pull it down, you have to wait a second for it to slide all the way down your screen, uh, don't bother with that. Just pull down, it's a whole lot faster. I did a little bit slow at times, just pull it down, bam, bam, right away. Uh, just 
comes out a lot faster. So something to check out if that's something that's happening to you all the time and you want to speed it up. Unify is one of those kind of tweaks that you absolutely need and gets really annoying when you have a bunch of notifications coming in and your whole screen is filled up with 20 text messages. So Jack is texting me here, hey, what's going on, what's going on? I have all these messages lining up. Why are those not in just one bubble? It's all from the same person, from the same application. Combine those together or you unify them. And that's what it looks like now when you with Unity or Unify installed. It just puts them all there into one little bubble. It puts little dots in between each of those messages. So you know there are multiple ones there, but it's from the same person, the same app. So it just makes it a whole lot cleaner to work with. You can enable it both on the lock screen and notification center or one or the other. Instead of grouping them by app, you could also group them by time. So if you'd rather just see the newer ones at the top, also an option. You can also do not group. So you can just sort them by time or app, but not actually putting them together. And then there's chaining, which is what we saw here, where it chains all those different text messages together and puts that little link, just a little dot in between them. You can also change the duration. So if that person sends them in really quick succession, uh, it'll chain them together. But if there's a, a longer time gap in between, it'll put those as different ones because they're kind of different conversations. You have other small options like showing the delimiter, uh, hiding rounded edges, highlighting the newest one for a specific app, uh, and just a few other minor settings. If there's an app in here that you definitely should check out, it's definitely Unify, especially if you're uh, messaging a whole lot. Moving on, we have Falcon, which we've covered before, and it works both on the lock screen as well as Notification Center. And it just kind of brings additional panels to both of those screens. Uh, so one of them would be here, like this kind of widgets or control view, a bunch of different toggles that you can turn it off, really easy to respring, really easy to reboot, power off, uh, adjusting volume sliders, turning on, uh, you know, do not disturb mode, uh, whatever it may be. There's a bunch of different options here that you can control, all from just a new control panel on Notification Center or your lock screen. Also, you can actually change the order of these, and instead of just this one, we also have one for notes, which is really handy. So it does not sync to your notes app per se. There's a little cheat sheet, a little list here. So just at the top, uh, you can search, but you can also just create a new one that way. So I type in there, I need to get some groceries. So get some groceries, I'll put in there. Uh, hit enter, and just add this little note onto this list. Really easy to keep track of things uh, right from your home screen or notification center. You have a few different options inside of the settings app for Falcon. Uh, nobody can change the order of those or turning certain ones on or off. You can also add Touch ID. So if you're doing it on your lock screen, make sure you use uh, Touch ID before it'll actually allow you to turn things off like airplane mode or something. Then you have independent settings, both for lock screen and notification center. So looking here, which ones do you want to have enabled today, main camera, but you have notes, search, and toggle that you can also turn on. Uh, search is just going to kind of launch a little web browser and allow you to search for something really quickly so you don't have to unlock your phone, open up Safari or Chrome, and do that search. And notification center is going to be the same way, except there's no camera. Obviously, there's no camera inside of notification center, so that would be exclusive to the lock screen, but everything else is going to be the same. So really handy, little t uh, little things to add to notification center to make it even more useful. And now one last throwback, which is Color Banners 2 for iOS 10. Basically just allows you to have different colored banners on a per app basis. So it makes it a lot easier to distinguish which app is sending which messages instead of just a tiny little icon. Inside of here, you can see we've enabled banners. Do we want to add a gradient? You can change the gradient colors. Um, do you want to prefer the white text? Whatever it may be, you can change it for the lock screen here as well as notification center. A little nice thing they put in here is this test option. Uh, so you can see here how it looks on the lock screen. Just tap test and all these notifications will come in. If we go back to that main screen, go to notification center now, we can customize it just here for notifications, make our changes similar to on the lock screen, tap test, you'll see these all come in and we can actually test them out and see how they look. So there you have it. There it is, a bunch of really great tweaks for Notification Center. Is there something you missed that you think is better? Let us know down in the comments below. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.